Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. And I've got to ask this question about creating a Google Doc with a comment. And does that comment translate over to Word when you export the document out as a Word document? But before I answer that question, hit that subscribe button. It's really the only thing I ask for when I create these videos is I try to help you use Google Workspace and Gmail as a business tool. All right, so let's go get a document. Here's a document. And so I need to put a, um, I need to put a note in here. And so I need to put a comment. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on this whole line right here, highlight it. And I'm going to hit this plus right here, which is add a comment. Okay. And when I click add a comment, I go, dude, is this the right phrase? And I'm a comment. So boom, there's my comment in there. Now I'm going to export this out as a Word document. File, download Microsoft Word. There it is. The bottom of the left hand corner of the screen is dictionary.docx. I'm going to click on that. Okay, looking at the document in Word, you can see that my comment came through. It lets me um, you know, click on that and respond back to her. Yep. This is good. Now, let's do something else. We know that our comments come through from Google Docs. Let's turn on tracking and let's make some changes and see if the tracking converts over from Word to Google Docs. So let me put some stuff in here. Then I put a whole sentence, a whole big old hunk of text in there. And the fact that it's uh, reddish pink or reddish there tells me it's being tracked. I'm going to change TL Burris. I'm going to change, double click on that. And I'm going to do Teddy Burris. And so we'll see if that track, tracks. And let's see, is, is really good food. So I just made, I turned on tracking and added a bunch of content. Now I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to go back into Google Docs and I'm going to bring that in and see if the tracking comes through and the comments. So give me a second. So I'm in my Google Drive. Now, two, one thing I got to make sure of before I bring that Word document in, I got to make sure under Drive Settings, right here, Drive, this is the Sprocket Settings, I got to make sure that Convert Uploads, Convert Uploads to Google Doc Format. You need to make sure that's enabled. Otherwise, when I upload that do, uh, Word doc file, it'll upload it as a Word doc and I can't edit it without converting it. So let's convert it when we bring it in. So go new, file upload, go to downloads. There it is right there, dictionary.doc, double click. Down here, it's uploading and converting. It's converted the check bar and there it is, dictionary. I thought I converted that. I didn't, but I turned that off. Let's go look. I may have just turned that off. Click on that. Settings. Oh, I clicked on it. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Done. Let's go import again. Close that down. I can get rid of that because it's not going to be of any value. Now let's go do it again. New. File upload. Double click on dictionary doc. Starting upload. And boom. There's the new one right there. This is the old one. And this is the new one. Because I can tell by the time. 156 was the original one. 212 is the new one. Double click on that. And look here. Ch tracking changes is turned on. So first of all, if I go look at the comment, where's the comment? Right here. Here's her comment to that right there. And she, I thought, there it is. This, yep, this is good. Here's the comment right here. Okay, where I commented all the yellow content. She said, yep, this is good. I'm going to hit the check. So I took off that yellow to the comment. But look, she replaced T.L. Burris with Teddy Burris. I'm good with that. She replaced good with really good. I'm good with that. And she added this whole text here. I call it my filler text. I'm good with that. So back and forth. Uh, comments go back and forth and if you have tracking changes on that goes back and forth between Google Docs 
and Microsoft Word. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope that information is useful for you.